Hello! Whew, got that tuned in. Good lord. Hey folks, I want to share with you today some footage taken using my Mavic Air 2. This radio tower here in Berkeley has been around for a really long time and it's been assigned different call signs over the years. So buckle up and let's get this chopper in the air. my chopper anyway hey uh I, like i said i want to share with you today a little bit about this radio tower that uh you know if you live in the bay area you've seen it here at aquatic park it's like really tall uh, it's listed on the uh, historical radio society as being 449 feet tall but actually the sky vector sectional charts show it as 452 feet and though that's a you know slight difference one may be uh agl and one may be msl uh, but at any rate, you saw me in the beginning of the video with my binoculars, and the reason I had those out is because these wires hold this really tall tower. They, it, you know, they anchor to it at certain points, and there was a lot of those wires, and I just really kind of wanted to get an idea of how everything was laid out before I flew over there and uh, got myself in a mess. <laughs> so I used my binoculars to, to like I say, see where these wires were and kind of park my vehicle in the best place that would give me the most direct line of sight to fly over, uh, you know, to this tower. I really wanted to get some video of the building, but it was just too much stuff down there uh, for me to have to keep track of visually, and I didn't want to risk losing the drone. But anyway, uh, it's, you know, there's some smoke in the air left over from these fires, um, and it's kind of just blowing around hazy and hanging around. But I pan around and I give you a little bit of a view here of, you know, Aquatic Park and Oakland Piedmont. Back out there uh, uh, east on um, 80, going back to it. You can see the Berkeley Pier back there in the, in the distance in the Berkeley Marina. Uh, we're, we're right here off of uh, 80 and 13 right there at Sh Shell Mound, Ashby and all that. Um, so... You know, and we're not really high in the air yet. Uh, we're going to go all the way to the top of this tower. And like I say, I don't get close until we get to the actual maximum height of the tower because I don't want to uh, tangle with any of those, you know, anchoring wires. But what a really cool tower this is. And there's a lot of great history to this tower. Uh, some of it being that, you know, this KRE... Uh, built this site or this tower in 1937 and, and um you know i guess originally it wasn't this tall it was a lot shorter but there was a like a storm in 1957 and it knocked it down anyway and so they built the current one that you see now which you know is 449 um, feet tall which is probably agl uh, the 452 that i got off the sectional charge is probably main sea level because we're just right about at sea level so uh, but at any rate, this tower has been home to lots of different call signs over the years. You know, that some of you may recognize KBLX, uh, KFRC, um, you know, currently it's now uh, assigned a call sign, uh, KVTO, it's the Voice of the Orient, it's an AM channel also, and, you know, it's it's just really cool to to see this old tower in a new way like I say I'm going to come in closer here with the drone now that I've gotten to the top part of the tower and there's no guide wires you can see those guide wires right there um, now that I've cleared all the ones at the bottom I'll come in a little closer to the to the actual tower because if there's potential for me to crash into something I, I want to avoid it uh, I don't do a full orbit around the tower because there are uh, there are you know that's interstate 80 down there uh, I don't want to go over any vehicles. I don't. It's not safe to do, and you're not supposed to. So let's get a little bit closer and look at the top of this tower. There's that flashing beacon on top um, with the little. I now now I don't know if that antenna just if that's the actual antenna. I don't know how these towers work, but if that's the actual little antenna that's putting out a thousand watts, and that whole tower is just holding that little antenna, and that's look at that. I don't know. If that's the whole, you know, antenna, uh, then that's something because you've got this big, massive structure of steel 
to raise that little tiny thin antenna 449 feet into the air. That would be something. But uh, you could see the light on top, the little flashing light. And uh, if you've never seen the top of a radio antenna tower, well, there you go. You just saw one. <laughs> How neat. Um, and you're going to kind of go back down with the camera here and see how far up we are. Now this camera on the Mavic Air 2 is about a 4.5 millimeter wide camera with a fixed 2.8 aperture and you know uh, you can get kind of a lot in frame. Uh, look at that, the top of the old building. That old building it's I guess the radio, Historical Radio Society had bought it and was had it filled with you know memorabilia and stuff and at some point they moved out or whatever I'm not sure how that worked but now it's just boarded up and vacant uh, and as you can see you know there's a lot of homeless living around that uh, structure but none inside that structure you could see by the picture there there weren't you know any you know like uh, tents or anything inside there people you know tearing it up um, but it is boarded up and empty and it'd be kind of cool to be able to go in there and see it, but I didn't want to, you know, I respected the no trespassing signs and uh, didn't go in there. This was a cool enough treat here in and of itself just to be able to see uh, the tower in this new way and get a real cool, you know, view of this tall structure. You know, the sky was different at various times of the day here. Uh, we, I did manage to get some sun here, which was kind of cool. Uh, looking back over toward, um, let's see, where is that? That is actually Powell Street over there off in the distance. If you went all the way out Powell Street, uh, that's where that structure is out there. And the, there's a little marina and stuff out there. And then you've got 80 right there going east and west. And you can see Shell Mountain and Ashby. But we're really, I mean, we're almost to the top of this tower. Okay. Uh and, and I, we're not to the top until we clear the antenna. But I'm going to go ahead and fly over the top of it here in a minute once I clear it. But, you know, just kind of pan around and give you a view of this, man. This is just a, a really neat view. Now, uh, I want to also point out that I didn't fly over any cars. Um, and according to FAA regulation, I can fly within a 400-foot radius of a structure and be able to fly 400 feet over the top of it. Um, if you're not going into any controlled airspace, which I wasn't in controlled airspace right here, so everything was good. But anyway, uh, what a really cool view this is. I wish the color would have been a little bit better. There's a lot of lingering smoke, like I say, from the fires. But let's just, you know, yaw back around here. And you can see the Berkeley Marina and the pier way out there in the distance. I did a video on that pier uh, last week. Um, that thing goes like three and a half miles out there into the bay, really cool. But what a pretty view. You know, this tower, you could see all the people just drive by it every day, and it's, you know, pushing out radio waves, carrying information across the bay <laughs> that you may or may not be aware of. And I thought, you know, what a fun way to come and, you know, sort of check out this tower, get some exercise in using sectional charts, and, and uh, fly my drone in a little bit more of a challenging area trying to be cautious of the wires and the and the, you know the things that go with uh, flying around a uh, you know a tower like this there's always obstacles that you see and that you you know become aware of when you get on the location but it was just a fun exercise and a fun morning and I've got some really cool pictures and some footage out of this you know um another thing I want to go over some of the dates with you that some of these call signs or radio stations were, you know, we call them radio stations, but they're call signs. <laughs> uh, KBLX first used it in, in 1986. Then there was KBFN, Kilo Bravo Foxtrot November, first used in uh, 1989. Then KBLX, it looks like they got it back in 1990. Then KVTO, which is the voice of the Orient, uh, started using it in 1995. So there's... You know, some and KFRC had it in 1968, and that was 51, uh, 5,100 watts of power <laughs> broadcasting uh, on 16 a.m. You know, that's uh, really neat. Look at this picture I got here, man, of Aquatic Park going back. 
What a really cool view that is, man. What a really pretty picture that is uh, to see Aquatic Park stretched back there and, you know, some of those buildings. And it just, it was a fun morning, you know. And I was hoping I could probably come back when the sun was a little bit lower and get that light flashing up on top. That would have been really cool. But with the haze... You know, and everything, um, I just, you know, I wasn't able to do that. But we can sure look at it. Check that out, man. I <laughs> fly right over the top of this rascal. As you can see those guide wires, too, way down there. You know, where I parked was the was an area that gave me a, a pretty direct shot through the trees and everything visibly. I could I could see right, right to the tower and the guide wires. And so, uh, you know, I had to kind of scout that out and see what was going to work best and be safest and give me the best possible, uh, you know, place to view and fly from. But you can see, look down here, it's, it's Aquatic Park, and that's a really busy park right there in Berkeley, Emeryville, right there on the border, I guess, uh, off of Shell Mound. But we're going to go ahead and start bringing the drone back home. You know, you can see me way down there. I'm there. Actually, this is the second time that I came that day. The first time you saw me in my van, now my van isn't down there. I'm I'm out here in my Jeep. <laughs> but but uh, I came back because the sun was out and I thought, oh, great, man, I'll get some really cool color in this and some, you know, a little bit of sky interest with the clouds. But, you know, it didn't work. <laughs> that lingering haze really, you know, hung around and kind of didn't give me the effect that I wanted. But, but you know, I did a maximum altitude on this uh flight you know the tower is 452 feet uh, you know main sea level so I the highest point that I flew was 500 feet um, but you know you saw we flew right over the top of it we flew around it we stayed safe didn't fly over any cars uh, you know it was just a fun morning of exploring and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video you learned a few things about it uh, please like and subscribe to the channel i'm having a good time here sharing some drone footage with you guys and i hope you're like i say enjoying it also like and subscribe uh, visit me on my website insightfulimagery.com i've got lots of art for sale uh, functional art check me out on facebook and instagram you guys take care and until the next video we'll see you